Hey guys, a uh, quick video from Sam at Crash Course Hammer. Um, this is just in relation to bayonets. To cut a long story short, um, I recently saw, of course, Matt's video about uh, plunger bayonets, or what I call plunger bayonets anyway, um, and training for Hema. And it's funny he made that video because uh, uh, a gentleman and I, a gentleman called Jono, uh, who contacted me over, over the Facebook page, um, basically was interested in uh, building bayonets, and specifically those kind of plunger bayonets that Matt was showing. Um, and what he, uh, what he gave me were a whole bunch of primary resources, specifically a design or a style that was used in Australia during the period. So I'll just get that up on the screen here. Here we go. So here you go from the uh, Australian, come on, focus, from the Australian uh, National Library. Okay. And of course, subsequently, then it also... Uh, this is from 1915. This is just an Australian uh, bayonet fencing uh, article. Oopsie days, there you go. So, using that, as well as uh, a little design I whipped up from uh, Backward Engineering, uh, some great pictures uh, that Jono and some great resources that uh, he provided. So, this is obviously the greener. Here it is together. There's the, this is the key component right here. Um, I basically figured out, uh, and I'm still testing it, but essentially, if you have a shotgun, okay, or a piece of plumbing pipe, you can quite easily make this, which is, of course, this part here, which is essentially this, this down here, um, from hardware that you can find in an automotive shop or a plumbing store. Which is exactly what I've done. So I've ordered a bunch of galvanized parts, namely a reducing bush, um, a spring, a couple of bits of a pipe from just up at K&D at the road, just to make a test one. Um, and if it works out, if it, it all goes together quite nicely, um, I'll show it to you guys. And of course that means you can make your own plunger style bayonet at home. So I'll keep you guys posted. Have a good one. Oh yeah, finish on a high note.